ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله يا بني اقم الصلاه وامر بالمعروف وانهى عن المنكر واصبر على ما اصابك ان ذلك من عزم الامور قام ايسان استابلش براير ان جون جود اند فوربيد ايفل اند بي بيشنت اون ذا هارم ذات يو ويل بي كازد بيكوز اوف ذات اند ذيس از ذا بيست اوف اول افيرز والله سبحانه وتعالى قال فلا يحزنك قولهم let their rejection their criticism their hypocrisy whatever they do and say against you let that not leave you so you are here you live in this world and this world is full of trials this is the whole idea is to persevere the heart through serving Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in your life. Interesting story that I read, I'm going to relate to you, a farmer and a horse. Farmer has a horse, and he loves that horse. He has an abandoned well where the horse <coughs> fell in it. Very deep could not get him out. He wants to get him out. Horses made, real loud, and he has figured out how to bring him out. But it didn't take him long. Despair and such attacked him, and he started thinking to himself, justifying killing the horse. So he starts saying, you know, the horse is too old. And if I were to get him out, it's going to cost me as much as buying a new one. And at the same time, the well is abandoned and I really need to backfill. So he decided to do it. Fill the well with dirt while the horse is in it bury the horse and fill the well and guess what two birds in one stone that's how he wants it to do so he called the neighbors and he asked for some help and people were coming and trash and everything he throws it in the well the horse realized that start being even louder but none stop nobody stopping so all of a sudden, the name of the horse disappeared. No sound. The farmer was surprised and he wanted to see what's happening. So he looked inside the well. He noticed that the horse, every time you dump dirt on him, he shakes his body. The dirt falls off. Then he steps on it and rises high. The neighbor, I mean the farmer, was shocked to see this. So they continued on doing that, and the horse continued on shaking his body. Guess what? He came to the top, jumped, and out of the well. This is your brother. In this life, if you don't do what the horse does, you will be buried. There are some people out there who don't like to see you successful. And there are some people out there who don't like to see you religious. And there are some people there who are jealous of you. All of these, on top of that you have dunya, and you have the trials and the diseases and everything, everything is attacking you to tell you, bury yourself and make it over. 
But those intelligent people who know the purpose of their existence, who know the purpose of their enemies, and who knows that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with you, already know them, already expected them. I expect harm from people. I expect pain in this life. I expect diseases. I expect trials. I don't expect when I become uh, so religious that uh, the whole world is going to be open for me and then I would live like a king. In fact, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu was given that choice by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to live forever like a king or to die and he chose to die and to be with the righteous because eventually you gotta die and after you die it's over. Prophet Musa alayhi salam, first time angel of death when he came to him, he came to him in the form of a human being telling him that he is here to take his spirit. Of course who's gonna believe just suddenly walking to you and tell you that. So Prophet Musa alayhi salam punched him, poked his eye. Tough man, sallallahu alayhi wasallam. And he's not going to just somebody walking up to him and telling him that. So the angel complained to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this slave of yours is not willing to die, doesn't want to die. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him the choice. He said, put your hand on the back of an ox and whatever hair under your hand counted you would live that long and that is thousands and thousands of years then when the angel came back and told him that he realized this is the real angel of death so we told him and then after those years what happens he said then you die he told him then now do it now why? If you know you're going to die, then what good dunya is? What good living in it and enjoying, quote unquote, for those people who think that eating and drinking and living like animals is enjoying, eventually it's going to die. مَا عِنْدَكُمْ يَنْفَدْ وَمَا عِنْدَ اللَّهِ ذَعْ What Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have would last forever. So live in this life. Expect all of this trash that I just talked about, harms and people and all of that that you, uh, that would be dumped on you just like it's been dumped on the back of the horse. Shake it off, pretend you did not hear it or you did not see it. Don't let it bother you. Go to sleep, relax and comfortable. Know that tomorrow you will meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So meet him with faith, a strong faith and dedication and success in this world. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us do that. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us on the straight path. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us always closer to Him. Jazakallah khair. Subhanakallah wa bihamdik. Ishqa'ala. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.